Hello everyone. It's a late update. I think it's 1.45 in the morning. Uh, today was a busy day. Uh, it started at 6 in the morning. That last uh, place I anchored at had zero protection from wind and waves. So I didn't sleep much. The only reason I did get to sleep was Dramamine. Um, But here is today's current track. You probably can't see all of the detail. Let's see if I can zoom in. Ooh. I mean, I can't pan. Down here. Where this other little dot is, there's a shoal that shifts, so I had to sail all the way down and around it. Well, I couldn't sail because there was no good wind at the time, so I'm, I basically motored the whole way. Um, all the way down to that tip, 14 miles off the coast, and I ran out of gas. So, I had to put the sails up, call the tow company, try and arrange for them to bring me some gas. Uh, getting away from the shoal took forever because the wind was so bad for the direction I had to sail. I think I was going like two knots trying to get out of there. But, uh, let's see. 93 total miles. So, long day, long day. Uh, and the engine started overheating. Then I realized, remembered that they mentioned one of the coolant hoses was leaking. So, I had to jump down in the cabin and dump some coolant in the reservoir, and then it started cooling back down. Uh, I'm thinking I ran out of gas because either when I filled it up the hose that goes from the fill, fill port to the tank is clogged or has a, a blockage or it's just that long that the fuel pump was able to pump faster than it could drain. So I ended up leaving with only a half a tank rather than the full tank that I thought I had, which would make sense because that would be about the time I would run out. So I've put 30 hours on it since I started from all the motoring I've had to do. Because yesterday afternoon and this afternoon were the only two opportunities I've really had to, to sail. And I'm tired. I'm going to find a marina to go sit at for a few days. Um, I've noticed a lot of fraying on some of the lines. Now that they're starting to get used, um, they're starting to fall apart. So after I get some fuel, because you, know, you can't get into a marina without fuel. So once I get some fuel, I'm going to head to the next port, which is um, Beaufort, North Carolina. There's like five different marinas in there, a bunch of uh, captain stores or ship stores, places you can buy uh, stuff for your boats. So I plan on getting some new rigging, um, some new running rigging. The standing rigging looks good. Um, replacing the clevis that the pin came out of, getting a new one of those, probably getting a spare or two. Um, thinking about also about getting a spare five gallon fuel jug to store on here just in case I do run out with a big tank because I wasn't paying attention to my hours or didn't know how much I had filled. 
I can dump some in there and not have to worry about it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Long day. Long day. But, I'll see you tomorrow.